Hi there, I'm Matthew from Patchworks, and today I want to talk about my favorite way to use the Disting EX by Expert Sleepers. The Disting EX and the Disting Mark IV, which is the predecessor to the EX, are multifunction modules. And for me, it was one of the first modules I bought in Eurorack uh, many years ago now. And the Mark IV served me very well. It filled all sorts of positions in my Eurorack that other modules couldn't because it can change what algorithm it uses. So if I needed something like an envelope or an oscillator or a reverb or a delay, I could always count on the Mark IV to fill that spot. Now the Disting EX goes a little bit further. There's some upgrades to it in terms of the screen. So the screen is much easier to read than the Disting Mark IV. And it also has a few algorithms that are just more fleshed out when used in the single mode. So what's different about the Disting EX versus the Disting Mark IV is that the EX is essentially two Mark IVs put together. You can see that one half is a module and then the other half another module. And you can also use it in single mode, which actually takes advantage of every input and output in one algorithm. So that's one of the main advantages. But the way that I like to use the Disting EX and what I'm gonna share with you today is actually using it in dual mode, which is two different Distings. So what's great about that is that I can select an algorithm on the left channel, and then I can select another algorithm on the right channel. And as I said, there's a lot of algorithms. In fact, there's so many that I have not even tried them all. What I have set up currently in the EX is a tape delay and a stereo reverb. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the outputs from one of my favorite voices here, the Qubit Surface, which is a physical modeling synthesizer. I'm gonna take that output and I'm gonna run it into this tape delay. Then I'm going to take that stereo output, so I'm going to take a mono output from here, even though this module can do kind of a stereo option because it has the left and right channels, but it works just fine in mono. I'm going to take that mono signal and then turn it into stereo here with this delay, and then take that output and I'm going to patch it into this module on the right here into the stereo reverb and kind of play with building my own effects. And what I really like about this is how quickly you can come up with new effects ideas. And now that's something that I didn't usually associate with the Disting Mark IV was it wasn't super fast to work with because there was a lot of uh, going through the manual looking for al algorithms to choose because there's so many of them and they all have different settings per input and different functions for what the knobs do. On here, you still are gonna be digging into your manual, but because of this new screen here, it's a lot easier to search right here on the module. So you're not gonna have to use that companion app by a third party developer called Modes, and you don't have to use the manual or the PDF online. You can just do it right here. And I found that to be really nice because I don't always wanna look at my phone or I don't always want to go on the internet. So I'm gonna start this patch up. I have my nerd sequencer. It's gonna sequence the surface for us. I'm gonna take this left output and plug it into the X input on the left side. And then I'm gonna take the left channel and plug it into the left input on the right side and do the same here. And then I'm gonna take two more cables and patch it into my audio output. And we will have a tape delay into a stereo reverb. I've always thought that the algorithms in the Disting sounded fantastic and it was always very usable, but these ones just go a step further and stacking them together like this and building your own effects is just extremely valuable to someone like me who likes to build things from scratch. So here's how it sounds dry. So right now you're just hearing the taps bouncing from left to right, but we're not having any feedback with the delay and we're not having the reverb affected at all. So here's what the reverb. So that reverb sounds pretty nice. So now let's add that tape delay into the reverb, but first just the tape delay. And of course it sounds fantastic. And now let's bring it into the reverb.
this next patch, I'm using a wavetable oscillator in the left side of the Disting EX, and I'm using an attack release envelope plus a VCA on the right side. So that's actually three different functions happening in one module. And then after that, I'm processing it with an external effect. So I'm getting a lot of territory covered with very few modules. On this, on the right side here, I can adjust the envelope size. And I can adjust the waveform here with this encoder. Let me process it with some effects. And this is the monolith. This is a newer module made by Raya Media. Pretty cool. So, so far, a lot of territory covered using the Disting EX. So another very usable combination that I found with the Disting EX is using the left algorithm as a DJ filter and the right algorithm as a delay. And I have a little drum pattern coming from my sequencer over here. It has a sample player built into it. And I'm going to demonstrate how useful that can be for transitioning from part to part, although I'm not actually going to transition to another part, but I can show you how that would sound. So here's the DJ filter. There's a low pass. You can adjust the resonance in the disting. High pass. And then here's the wet for our filter. And then here is the wet for our delay. So in combination, it's gonna be hard for you to see on camera, but I have to use two hands here. And then I can go right to dry again. So I really like combos like that. That's something I would do on my Octatrack that's very effective for moving from part to part. And just making a song more animated and alive. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Disting EX and some of the useful cases you could find in dual mode. I'm Matthew from Patchworks, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.